So what's up guys, uh, welcome back. This is your boy again, how you not day now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are doing okay. Thank God it's Friday. So try as much as possible to enjoy your weekend or relax. Don't allow anybody to bother you. Enjoy yourself well. Relax and enjoy yourself. Well, we have some uh, few stuff to discuss now. Firstly, let's talk about an American man. American man, not up to 25 years, who single-handedly, at a go, impregnated five women. Single-handedly, at a go, impregnated five different women. So let me say this guy was double dating or, you know, say triple dating. So if there are five, what's the language for it? You know, dating, double dating, triple dating. Should we say like fifth dating? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know how it did, Rasha. I don't know how he was able to accomplish it. But all I know is that he might suffer. Or maybe the baby mama will suffer. Or the baby mama. Because they should be expecting this guy, this 25 years old, barely 25 years old, to be able to provide and cater for five kids. And not just only that. This guy initially have three children. Three already with other women who now getting five women pregnant single-handedly i think this guy need to be arrested in some society this guy will definitely be arrested definitely be arrested in some countries so in some countries this guy is liable to be arrested but the crazy fact is that all those baby mama are aware that this guy was playing them and got them all pregnant. Honor like the case of a Nigeria guy. Honor like the case of a Nigeria guy who impregnated four police women in the United States of America. Four police women. And they arrested him and they want to deport him. This is a guy now, he impregnated five women. Then he's moving freely and he's happy to take pictures with them. Please. I am still speaking for that guy, Nigeria guy that was arrested. Let that guy go. That guy is not liable for any offense. He was doing his duty. He was enjoying himself. Enjoying himself, but these women decided to get pregnant. But if it was for some side, some society, this guy is liable to be arrested. Just like that Nigeria guy that was already arrested. And this guy that's still in the same country. So I will check to know how, what is the, like, uh, the current situation of that Nigeria guy that got four police women pregnant at the time, at once, and try, I will read about the story to know the update. I don't know yet if he was deported or if he was persecuted, I don't know. But we know he was arrested. For what? I don't know, guys. <laughs> because he was enjoying himself. They are not underage. And these women, they know this man was playing with them. So how are they going to even do it? This man is not liable for any child support. Do you think the man will be liable for child support? Like a law will be placed to force this. There's a law already there to force this man to pay child support. How much is this going to pay to, for five kids? Five kids. So how much is going to pay for five kids? You don't know if some of these women are carrying twins. But let me say possibly, let me say two are carrying twins. Let me say, okay, let me just say five kids. Five kids plus they are standing three. He already has. Making uh, making uh, five, six, seven, eight kids. How is he going to pay child support? It's not future. It's not rapper future. Who is, of course, uh, paying his child support well? to some few baby mamas. How is he going to pay for eight kids' child support? How much is he going to be paying a month? This guy will be paying like $500, at least $500 a month for, 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 for a child's head. Now calculate it to be eight. 
or maybe more than $500 because the economy is hard. $2,000. Ah, this guy is going to make two thousand. Man, I, I don't see. Although the guy is irresponsible, eh? but I think I'm going to blame the women. They are even way more irresponsible than the guy. So that being said, Mr. Ibu, apparently, Mr. Ibu recently got his adopted daughter, Jasmine, and uh, his son arrested because they are refusing to release his accounts, his social media account to his wife. You know, Mr. Ibu was sick and uh, they amputated one of his legs. Later again, they re-amputated the leg again to cut it further. Apparently, it's not getting better. Of course, you know the whole issue between Mr. Ibu, and, uh, his son, and also his adopted daughter. And you know the rumor then that Mr. Ibu was apparently having an affair with his adopted daughter. You know, that whole issue, we just simply choose to forget it. We didn't really look deep into it. We just simply just choose to forget about that particular matter. Now, there is an update. Someone said Mr. Ibu's Jasmine and his son has been rearrested by the police yesterday, locked up, charged to court today for refusing to release and hand over everything, including social media account, to Mr. Ibu's wife. Mr. Ibu, who is getting better, also wants everything be given to his wife. Until Mr. Ibu, for me, since this whole matter is on social media, since this whole matter is already on social media, until Mr. Ibu himself come out openly, publicly, and ask Nigeria to help him to tell Jasmine and his son to release his account, his account and social media account to his wife, I will never believe that directive was from Mr. Ibu. Because the first time that Mr. Ibu used his own mouth to beg public to please donate. So he should also, since they said it's getting better, uh -uh, they should also force him also to come out and tell the general public to tell his son and his adopted daughter, Jasmine, to please release his account and his social media account, his properties, to his wife. Until then, I don't believe, say, even though they arrest them, I do not believe that directive was from Mr. Ibu. Mr. Ibu just took him out there for some crazy stuff. And <laughs> that guy is his own worst enemy. He's the one that put himself in this deep ish. He's the one that put himself in this deep ish. He's the one, man. But I understand his wife, though. His wife have every right. I understand his wife. He's just fighting for his own place. Meanwhile, the son as well have every right as well. The adopted daughter get their own right as well. So it's better said they should go to court and uh, dig out there to know why Percy they are alive. Oh, Mr. Ebu is alive and they are dragging over his property. Hey, just imagine if that guy, by God forbid, his enemy will not die. Hmm? His, his enemy will not buy. Ah, it's crazy, man. So when it's our life like this, they are driving over properties. So let's move forward. Let's talk about uh, Davido's uh, case versus the former NFF uh, head. That is uh, Amadu Picnic, if I'm pronouncing that well. So, of course, you guys already know the issue between Davido and the Amadu. Or let me still rephrase it. Amadu was organizing a show in Delta. Apparently, they paid David Do 90 something, close to 100,000 US dollars, to come to Delta to perform. David Do, apparently, according to David Do, informed Amadu a month before the show that he is not going to make it to that show again. On that day of performance, Amadu wasn't happy that David Do didn't make it. And meanwhile, they were promoting the show with David Do's name. They were prom promoting the show with David Do's name. So Amadu, on that day of that uh, party, of course, he came out, blast David Do, said David Do is in nobody, all those kind of stuff. 
David o wasn't happy about that. David o said, you know, that money may you pay me so I no go give you. He said, I will give you that money, the money that you looted for, for, for Nigeria soccer players. So yes, I will donate it to them. So Amado Pickney charge dragged David Doe to court. David Doe was trying to explain. Guess what? They said David court dismiss David Doe preliminary objection to breach of contract suit. David Doe court does dismiss David Doe excuse. David Doe excuse that David Doe is given to court that he refused to refund or refused to perform. They dismissed it. They dismissed it that he has no excuse, that he shouldn't have breached the contract, that he have no excuse. So most definitely, David Doe, we have to refund that money. I just feel say David Doe is just trying as much as possible to like drag the issue. It's not as if David Doe no get money, they refund. <laughs> no be O2 Arena, David Doe sell out. You know how much to sell out O2 Arena? You know how much that guy will make for that O2 Arena? Papa, there is money. He just want to drag the issue. He just want to make them suffer for the matter. He just want to make them suffer for the matter. Small. That's why David Doe just pay them and you let them go and beg. Uh, pay them and let them go. Yeah? Pay them and let them go. Hmm?